big thank you to Apta Milk Follow On Milk for partnering with me on this vlog. I'm super duper excited to be working with them. Um, this video is going to be all about like being prepared and being a mum. If you're a mum then you'll know exactly what I mean. <laughs> being prepared is well you can never be too prepared as a mum um, also a lot of you guys ask me what's in my baby bag like what do I pack on a day out and also I'm going to do a what's in my bag as well because you guys have been asking for it for the longest time and we're actually going to Chessington today because Tommy's cousins are over from Amsterdam so we've decided to make a day out of it and take them to Chessington I'm actually still pretty tired because last night I was writing a checklist for everything that I have to take on holiday next month. Even though it's not till next month, you know, you can never be too prepared. I already written down like how many sleep suits I need to take, how many um, pairs of socks, how many nappies and whatnot. So last night was a bit of a late night for me, so yeah. So I'm going to show you exactly what I pack in my baby bag for a long day out. It's half past eight in the morning now, I'm going to leave soon and um, we're not going to be home until like seven at night tonight so you know I have to pack quite a lot of stuff so I'm going to show you what I pack and for myself when I'm going out for a whole day I take the minimum so I'm going to show you what I packed as well. This is a compartment bag that I got from eBay. I used to write checklists but now I can do a visual checklist because there's six compartments and I know exactly what goes into what and it also has pockets on the outside so it's really handy. First of all I pack some spare clothing so I have a spare sleep suit onesie, a spare bodysuit, a pair of socks and all you have to do is roll it all together in then the end of the socks took it out and it's really nice and compact and saves a lot of space in the bag so it's a really handy way of organizing clothing and it fits into one of the slots perfectly i also put it in this little organza bag and it just keeps it nice and tidy next up i have some spare hoodie and um, just in case it gets cold and a bib I also pack some snacks and also his homemade lunch i have some cool bod water some hot water and some optimal follow one milk which is really handy and a couple of bottles and those go into all the slots are like i said i can do a visual checklist of where everything should be going I also pack a spoon as well, can't do without a spoon. There goes my Apta Milk Follow On Milk as well. This is really handy for days out because you just pour it out and it's ready to use. Bottles. I have some sterilizer wipes, some sun cream, some tissues. In the other compartment I have some Calpol sachets just in case and some teething gel which is really important right now. Then that goes into my bag. It actually fits perfectly so I'm so pleased with this. I also have this changing mat which is super handy because you can put your nappies in there and you can put your baby wipes in there as well so when you go to change the baby you're all prepared. It also has a little sewed creme in there and that also goes into my baby bag as well. And then last but not least some toys to keep him busy, some teethers and whatnot and we're all packed. So this is the little bag that I'm taking. I have my phone, my wallet and my vlogging camera and I also have a little makeup pouch which is perfect because it's nice and small. Inside I have a cushion compact, I have a lip gloss, I have some oil blotting paper, eyelash glue, tweezers, a lip balm and a eyeliner. This fits perfectly in the bag and the bag is nice and small so it's not going to take up too much space when carrying it. So we are nearly at Chessington. Yeah. It's about how long we got left? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. We're just going through the little roads which lead to Chessington. Super duper excited. I haven't actually been to a theme park. Actually, I've never ever been to Chessington. You've never taken me to Chessington. Well, I guess I'm not a kid really. Only I'm really a big one. <laughs> I actually pre-booked the tickets online last night just so that we don't have to queue up and um, queue with the rest to get tickets today and it's actually more expensive if you buy it on the day so I bought it last night the 
hustle and it's getting really hot now it's getting really warm good job little one has a sun umbrella but for me as a mum it's a bit hot and um, we're just looking for some lunch now so we'll get some lunch to feed the little papa so we are having fish and chips and Aiden's got sweet potato cheesy mashed with chicken and his Aptamil follow-on milk which is really convenient because you just pour it out and it's ready to use. with you everywhere you go I literally take it everywhere I go sometimes when he doesn't want to sit in the pram and it's just not convenient to hold him all the time so it's about 4 p.m. now we've been here for like five hours and it's gone really quick but it's been so much fun and i think we're gonna head off now and um, call it a day because um it takes us a few hours to get home so by the time we get home it'll be time for aiden's bedtime and bath time and probably feed him some dinner just be right before we leave so yeah full day out i am so tired <laughs> yeah on our way home now it's been such a fun day we just dropped off the kids at tommy's mum's um, it's been an awesome day, the weather was really good as well and Aiden had a lot of fun as well, lots of things for him to see it's very child friendly in Chessington so that was good and um, there's lots of babies and lots of um, prams and whatnot. so yeah I'm gonna love you and leave you because um, once I get home it's gonna be a scramble to get him bathed and fed and put to bed and whatnot. it's like nearly 7pm now so thanks for watching this video, bye guys Mwah.